All right. I decided to come and, Lord, it's been a few days of not feeling well. Um, I decided to come and record myself setting up a party, exactly what I do so that you guys can see it and kind of how I go about these things. I'm going to do it with no one's information on there, um, but just so you guys can see all the steps that I go through at the very beginning. Okay. Um, and then we're going to walk through it. We're going to walk through it. We're going to talk about it. And then you have it for your reference. Okay. So first things first is going to your workstation. I will share my screen. Okay. Going to your workstation. When you've had all your party conversations, people are saying yes to parties or like, absolutely. Or maybe they just want to spend a lot of money and you're like, let me set you up a link so that you can at least get rewards on what you're trying to purchase. Okay. So you're going to go into your workstation and you're going to create a party. You need their name, their phone number, and their address to input them into your system if they're not already a customer. Okay. Once you get those things, you can input those things. It'll be great. It'll show all the information. Um, so I'm just going to kind of show you guys that, but I'm not going to, again, put anybody's information in there. All right. Because people are crazy. And I've already had people. How do I share my screen? I've already had people take pieces and parts of my trainings and, and dissect them. And I don't need nobody coming after me. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So this is Bisley. So you're going to go into your workstation. Okay. You're going to enter the name of your party. And you're just going to say, I do it by everybody's first and last name. So that way it's easiest to find them. So like I would put Anya Faust. Okay. That's the name of the party. Nothing cutesy. I want their party guests to be able to find them very easily. Okay. Then I would continue. All right. And it is going to make me add their name. Then I'll put in out their information if they're not a customer. Okay. And um, if it was for myself, I would make myself as the host consultant as host. Okay. And then you'll put in all their information where they live, their phone number, their email, all of that stuff. And then you go to the party page. I'll be very honest with you. I do not, besides the date, change anything. I'm not saying nothing cutesy. Whatever is in that template is in that template. Why? Because time is money and I'm going to focus on the things that matter most. Okay. At the end of this, where you have this party page right here, it is going to say copy link. Okay. You want that link. That is your person's party link. They can shop through there. They have 90 days um, before their party will shut off, depending on where you have the end date before they have to use the rewards. So they can shop under there. They can share it on their social media. They can text it out. And I always recommend that my hosts do that. Text it out. Okay. Share it on your Facebook page. Hey, I'm having a sensi party. And I, really like them to do this at the beginning, in the middle, and at the end. We want to get those rewards as high as we can so they get free and half off items, okay? So that's the first thing for your workstation, all right? Then once I have that link copied and saved, I send it to my host automatically with host verbiage, okay? They can make it sound like whatever they want, but again, here's your link to shop with. You can shop, send it to your friends and family, Post it on your social media. You can text this link out. I'm getting ready to make your group right now. Okay? Okay. So you want to host coach as you go. Then we're going to go to Facebook. Okay? So this is my VIP page. But we're going to go over. Nope. My thing's in my way. We're going to go over. Shoot. I don't do this part on the computer. Can you tell? We're going to go over to groups. Okay? And you're going to go to create group. Oh, there's my face. Create group. I'm going to name this group. Usually I always do like fall sentiment. We're just trying to make it easy. Okay. Every single party group will have the same name except for the, the um, host name because I need that repetition for my own brain. Okay. So I'm about to do Jay's um, party. So I do Jay's sent event. Okay. My privacy is always going to be private. I don't want no one taking my posts. I don't want anybody looking at my stuff. This is between me and my hosts and their people. All right. So then we create it. Wish my computer is moving a little slower. Maybe I need to get off Wi-Fi on my phone. My phone's almost dead. Okay. So once I get into this, here's what I like to do. One, click out of that. I don't need your help. I know what to do. Okay, Facebook. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to go down to group settings. And 
new member intro. We'll put that in in a minute. Okay. We'll put in the description in a minute, but I want to make sure first and foremost that my posts are going to be sorted with the newest post first. I don't want people going and commenting and then all my posts getting jumbled up. Okay. I also want my comments to be the same. Okay. Show the newest comment first. Because that way it's easier for me to go and look through and see who's participating, what they're doing. All right. Then on the apps. Oh, excuse me, sir. Oh, y'all. Sorry. Yeah. On the apps, I use Bizly. And I'm going to show you that in a minute too. If you do four or more parties a month, if you want a big business, you should be. You want Bizly. It is so worth the investment. Okay. But you go in here, you click add apps. And you're just going to type Viz. You go any further, Vizly will turn into something else. You won't be able to find it. Okay. So I add my Vizly. Right. Then we're Milo. Not today, sir. Oh. Then we're going to go in to new member intro. Okay. We definitely want this to be a thing. We want it to be super cute. I will always add the link to it, but I'm not going to do that right now because I don't want Jay's info being all over. I also use boards, okay? I've shared this with my group. I can share it in the comments of this video also. And I go to before the party. And this kind of is just like easier for my brain to work around and figure out when I'm trying to put all of this into a Visly. I get super confused. I don't know why, I just do. So I already have the new milk welcome typed up, okay? So thanks for joining so-and-so scent event. There's so many amazing home decor things to see and smell with Scentsy. We cover all your needs from laundry to cleaning to your kiddos to waxes items. And then of course, wax and warmers. When you shop, she gets rewards and every order gets a little surprise for me. It's a thank you with some samples in it and a scent circle that just says thank you so much for ordering, okay? And then check out all the home decor and fragrance things here. And that's where I put their link. So I just simply copy this, right? We're going to go here and we're going to put it in and I'll fix that. And Jay is actually he. So I will go in and fix with the link later. Oh, dang. Come on, Anya, pull your life together. So Jay sent event, okay? And we're going to publish. So that way, any person who is new to this party will get an immediate welcome info email. Y'all, I told you, I'm coming off of not feeling good. Hang in there with me. They will get a welcome message right away to know what this party is about. So they're not just like joining something and like, oh, what am I doing? Okay. So there is that. We also, oh, let's do continue. Continue, continue. Hello, today. Okay, whatever. You get the gist. Then we're also going to do the description. Where is that? And in the description, I basically just say the same thing. So I guess I'll go do that later too. It says edit. Uh, of course, you know, it always says this when you're like trying to show other people or you're trying to do something. Lord. Okay. So I'll fix that in a little bit if it's not. But wherever the description is, I don't know what it is. New post, most recent. Edit post format, approve edits. Okay. Well, maybe not. New member intros on, oh, name and description. So I go back to boards. Everything's in boards to make this super easy. Okay, welcome to so-and-so's fall scent event. It ain't just wax and warmers anymore, honey. Come and shop and our hostess, come and shop and help our hostess earn free and half off rewards with every order she receives during the party. Each order gets a deluxe thank you from me. In my mind, a thank you is deluxe if it has samples in it. I'm just saying, okay. So we'll do that. That way they have a description before they even get in. Where is she? Come and shop. How's her? He? Okay. So that's a description. So these are all like little details that I really appreciate when I do these parties to make it easier for myself. Okay. Next, I go in and I actually will have everybody gets the same during the season. Everybody gets the same banner up top, okay? So if it's a launch for my new teamies, because I always offer to launch my new teamies, um, it does not have pictures of me. It just has pictures of our products. And it's literally just a template. Like, look over here on Canva. 
It's just a template, okay? But mine looks like this because I want it to have my face in there. I want them to see my face as much as they can throughout this party. So I also add pictures through the party, okay? We'll do all pages. No, we just want page number three. But all throughout the party, there'll be random pictures of me with items, okay? Um, and then I like to add reels in mine too, because I just feel like they're fun and they're funny and they're quick. So people can see the items quick and it catches people's attention, okay? So see, we have all the things, okay? All different pictures that I just liked and I took of myself will be on there. So, and then I put Jay's name in there already. So that way they know who sent event this is. Downloads. And that'll load up there. Okay, and then if I go back to my boards, I have this whole thing is before the party. Stop bringing him in here because he keeps, he's, bullied by he's not getting bullied by anybody. He's fine, but he keeps coming on while I'm trying to show my team something. So if you could just take him out, that'd be really helpful. Thank you. Yeah. Shut the door, please. One thing I've learned, side note, having teenagers is like, their minds are working quick, but not not as quick as they were. It's like their hormones are slowing everything down, but they really think they know all these things. So they're trying to do all these things, but like they don't fully think things through. It's very, but they'll do it. And then you're like, no, no, not, what are you doing? Why are we? Well, and then they have this thought process, but like it's a partial, it's not a full. It's very interesting. Anyways, so new member welcome we've done. Here's what I sent to my host. I just have a um, have your all party all set up and ready to go. I will send you an invite so you can start inviting people tonight. Be sure to accept the invite yourself, obviously, and then invite friends to the group. I always recommend 30 to 50 people, okay? If they can't get that many, they can't get that many. We do not want them to invite everybody, all right? It's spamming, okay? So, and then I'll tell them to usually like, Add who you would have to your house. If you wouldn't have them over to your house or you wouldn't go get coffee with them, don't add them to your Facebook party because that's weird. We don't want anybody from like high school that we literally do not talk about. And then at the end, at the beginning of the party, you always ask if they're interested in possibly joining. Okay. Ask again at the end just to let them know, hey, this is what we have going on. I've got host tips that I send them. Okay. And then I also have the host rewards. It's simple, not super overwhelming, so that they can read through it and be like, oh, okay, this is what I want to do. Okay, so that all gets sent to my host for host coaching. Um, and then I have a shop here, okay, and that goes with the link. So that's usually what's posted after I post my notification, okay? So post these notifications. I just copy, go to my party. It's going to be my very first post that I put in here, okay? Go to boards. I'm going to do the same thing. Copy the clipboard. But really? You just said you were copying my clipboard. Oh, no. Boards makes me do it in a weird way. And I forget every freaking time. You have to actually take the picture on my computer. You know, when you do something on your computer versus on your phone, like it's always a little bit different. And you're like, why? Why is it always a little bit different? Then put it in. So this way, they're going to know to turn on their notifications, okay? Now, once people, well, let me not get ahead of myself. Good Lord, y'all. Like, what is going on in my brain? So I'll post the notifications. Then I'll post this shop here picture with my host link. And once I post that, let me show you what I do. I'll go to these three little buttons right here, okay? And... I will click mark as an announcement, okay? So that way it pops up first. Later, probably like, I don't know why it does it. You have to mark it as an announcement. Then you can mark it as a pinned post. Do the same thing, those three little dots, and it will stay at the top. So everybody always knows where to party and shop, okay? Every host needs to make sure, and you need to make sure that the guests have the correct link. Because if not, since he's not changing it. So they need to shop through the correct link so your host gets credit. Okay, so that's what I do with the shop here link. All right, then we have all of these, all these, and these all start going, all those posts start going with my Visly. Okay, so once I have my notifications, my shop here done, 
Then I tell my host, go ahead, invite all your people. Let's get them in. Once those people are in, I am messaging every single one of them. Hey, welcome to Jay's party. So excited that you're here. Um, I'm going to drop the link so you can look around my site because I'm going to show you a lot through the next two days. Um, make sure you respond to this message to get thrown into our raffle. Why do I want them to respond to my message? Because then I'm automatically in their inbox. I'm going to message them all again at the very end of the party when we're wrapping up. Hey, we're finishing up Jay's party. They're so close to rewards. I just wanted to check in. Did you want to order? Do you have any questions for me? I dropped the link one more time. Okay. So every single time they get two messages and then I add them as a Facebook friend. If they don't want me as their Facebook friend, cool, perfectly fine. But I also have a post about that in my party that goes and I just let them know you joined. You must like Sensi. Let me show you all the newest and the greatest things. And then I also post with my VIP group on there. So if they don't want to be my Facebook friend, they can see Sensi through my VIP group. But I personally only add people that have ordered into my into my Facebook VIP group. Okay. So, Visley, here's my template. All right. We go through notifications, which I'll skip, obviously, because I just did that one. Um, what is Sensi? Invite your friends. Then... I do a gift one. So if you order or you book a party, because that's free, right? They'll get a gift from me. Um, and then they have my introduction to me and then an introduction to our party, which is another raffle thing. And it basically explains the raffle, what we're doing. When you comment, you get points, okay? And anything with a pink ticket emoji, they want to comment on because their name gets thrown to the raffle for a gift at the end of the party. And that's compliant because it's not pay to play. Anybody can win that, all right? So we go through all the things, bundling and saving, our wax categories, mini warmers, full-size warmers. Which warmer would you pick, okay? This one is always a, it's a raffle, see pink ticket? But it always is themed with the season that we're in. So obviously right now we're in like Halloween spooky season. That's what that's going to look like. I'll change it out in November to be more of a Thanksgiving season. Okay. Um, so I do make a party for each season that we're in because I want it to be kind of themed with whatever's going on. I don't want like winter stuff posting in the summer. That would be silly. Right. So Zachariah, please stop moving my computer while I'm talking. That's rude. Thank you. Well, you well, you can ask me when I'm done. You need to patiently wait. Okay. Okay. You know, when I'm doing this, this is not the time to ask me something. So you got to wait. All right. Okay. You can write it down on a piece of paper if you'd like and slide it to me, but otherwise you have to wait. Okay. So I also add in, I learned this from Megan Moore, warmer highlights throughout the party. So like day three, okay. We're talking about pods where all the pod systems I've got pods, wall fans, mini fan diffusers, um, Sensi Go, the air purifier, and the tabletop diffuser. But within there, let me show y'all, I have warmer highlights. And I try most of my warmer highlights to have my face in them. So they're still seeing my face, okay? But this way they can see different warmers throughout the party that maybe I didn't show them or they didn't get a good look at the first time around, okay? So that's what I do for warmer highlights when I say like even day four. Day four is all about diffusers and oils, okay? I'm going to do my warmer highlights. They don't always have my face in them, but I like them to have my face in them, okay? Okay. All right. So interaction posts, at least one a day. So like I have one that is a seasonal joke, okay? Give me your best guess. What's a scarecrow's favorite fruit? I literally just looked this up on Pinterest, like fall joke. Then I put this in a Canva and I know the answer is strawberry strawberry i have to keep it simple or i'm not going to remember the answer okay so seasonal joke and people think it's so great like enter you definitely want interaction posts okay our cleaning interaction post which do you like okay which do you hate more laundry or dishes all right you can find these on pinterest you can make your own make it super cute i have scentsy fresh in here and i really miss our pet line so i kept it to be interactive, but I'm like, show me your fur babies. And then I show my fur babies. Okay. And that way they can see that like, I have pets, a lot of them. And I even have more now and kids, but we use Scentsy Fresh all the time. All right. So you want interactive, you want to make it you. I even have one day six, um, where they get to meet my kids and I tell them why. Right. So I tell them why, because literally 
they're a big part of my why, but also they're the ones that put all of our mail out together. They put the mail outs together. I just pay for it and send it off. Okay. But that's their jobs. So I even have like, which one do you think gives me a run for my money? Huh? I wonder the one who was just touching my computer, but here we are. Okay. So make it you add yourself in there. All right. Um, I got this from Megan too, which I absolutely love is the option to pay later. I love that because that way people can see like they have the option to use PayPal and pay later if they see something they really want. Some things are like they're expensive, like the air purifier or a premium diffuser, right? Okay. So then I have a join Sensi party, get in my VIP group and check your messages and your requests. All right. So with that, because I've already hooked up Jay's, which by the way, I go back and I delete this. Okay. Because I don't need people seeing that. They don't need all that. We just need to let it go. Every post is going to have Bisley on it anyways, but I don't need them to be like, oh, what is this girl doing? No, no, just shh, shh. it's going to be fine. So then I go to my Facebook groups, okay? I'm Bisley, maybe? Hello? Bisley, work for me. Today, I have a lot of things tracking right now because we're in the height of all the things. See, I have a lot of things tracking right now, but they're like all at zero. So I know that these are all good. I need to untrack them because we're done with most of these and I'm sending messages right now, but I have Jay's fall sent event right here. So I can click track group. Okay. And that's going to give me the option to go up, open his group and attach you don't have to attach your business page. I don't know why it did that for a while. It doesn't now. But I can pick my template and I'm going to pick my fall 2023 template. Okay. I'm going to do all posts. I'm going to delete the one that I did for notifications. Lord. So this one I will delete and you can set these up however you want. It's easiest for me to set them up if I start it in the middle of the day because we're done with homeschooling, okay, around 132. So then I know when I come in here, I can start my party, get everything set up, and it's going to run like clockwork from here on out. But most of my posts start at nine o'clock. So I have to do it based on the time and not based on when it started. Hope that makes sense. Okay, so this is the template we're going to use. What is Sensi? I'm literally going to turn my posting on. Oh. I got to fill in my text replace. So that's another cool thing. You can add in text replacement. So how do you know name? I can add in my host name to make it so it's more personalized towards them. I only use their name once though, because I'm using this throughout the whole season. I'm just going to change it up for November. Then I'll change it up. Why are they in the past? What's today? No, October 16th. Five posts are past. They will post immediately. No, I do not want that. Couldn't determine if our app is loaded until you're... It literally is loaded into the group. Why are we doing that? Oh, maybe it's a different group, Jay's Fall Sentiment, because I did two. Did I do two? I don't know. Anyways, you would turn the posting on, and it will just automatically, once you have it connected on that Facebook group, it will automatically load in your post, and they will just automatically go. And then all you have to do is check in on the comments, check in with your host. Another thing I like to have my host do is at the very beginning of a party, send me pictures. Wait, yes, that's how I set a party. How do I stop sharing my screen? Okay. Another thing I do is I will ask my host, send me pictures of like your top three favorite things and like screenshot them from my website. And then I will send them real life pictures of those things. So they can post, this is on my wish list. When your host is more interactive, when they make posts, the customers are more likely to get excited and be interactive with you. Okay. If your host is really, really struggling, and there's like no interaction once some, okay, so here, first thing, my host has to be willing to help because like they're getting free stuff, okay? So it's, this is just as much for them as it is for me to expand my business, but my host come first in my mind. So I want them to get the best experience um, and I want them to want to party again, right? And get your stuff for free and have off because that's one of the best things about Sensi is that you can do that. So I let them know that's why we host coach. We got to work together. Let's do this together. It's going to be great. We're going to have fun. Okay. Um, but I also am like, if you're really struggling and like, there's no interaction, I want you to hire uh, two hype people. 
and they will get a gift from me at the end of the party. Once they hype up everything, they comment on a few things because the more people that are commenting, the, it's going to boost the algorithm. More people are going to be like, oh, this is really cool. Oh, let me see this. Okay. So you give me two hype people, send me their addresses, and I will send them a gift at the end of this party. It can be a bar. It can be a scent circle. It can be whatever. All we're asking them to do is interact on the party for their friend to boost the algorithm to get free and have off stuff. It's that simple. Okay. Or I'll even sometimes just add it to my host's order. And I'm like, Hey, I put in so-and-so and so-and-so's hype stuff, um, with your order at the end. So, and I paid for it just so you know, so it's headed to you. That's, you know, if you, if you a big dog, okay. If you're like, Oh, I can't do that. That's fine. Don't do that. Okay. Because I'm telling you, like I get my, whatever I get with my rewards, those are always like host gifts, hype gifts, things like that. Okay. Like I'm not paying full price for that. I use my rewards. That's why I have a catch-all party open with my name on it every month. All right. So that's how I set up parties. That's how I do all the things. I'm using boards. I'm using Visly, okay, to help me out. So that way it's just pre-done. It's quick. It's easy. Obviously, it takes longer when you're explaining it. But I hope that helps y'all. Um, I figured since I was doing it, I would go ahead and like show you all the little nitty-gritty details in one training. So y'all have a good day. Bye, guys.